See this old truck here behind me? When I bought it, it had this camper shell on it. Well, being a carpenter, I need my tools with me. Thinking that so shell's got to come off. I got to thinking about it and I said, you know, I think there's probably a way that I can use that camper shell. I can make this truck with service trucks. And here's what I did. Now this may not be something for everybody, but if you've got a truck with a camper shell on it, you know how difficult, and you know what a pain in the rear it is trying to get your tools in and out. And then also, if you do any kind of carpenter work, you know you need a bed that's four feet wide. Like I said, it has this camper shell on it. I need a place for my tools. I don't mind using the camper shell if I can work it out. Well, here's what I did to work it out and how I did it. First thing I did, I went to a local Leonardo, Leonard Lear dealer, retailer, whatever. It had the solid windows in it. And I said, do y'all make, you know, lift up windows? They said, yeah, we, we make them. I said, I want them. They ordered me a set, one for each side. That took care of issue number one. All right, I've got a way I can access the inside of the camper shell. All right, so I don't have a toolbox. Now I've got a bunch of tools, hand tools that I have to take with me. So, instead of going and buying a commercial service body or commercial camper shell, I just turned mine into my own personal toolbox. On this side, I keep my cordless equipment, as you can see, and also, I put 10 on here, so for the average person walking by this truck, they'd never know there's tools inside. This here's the drinker side. Now, I don't know what kind of mess. I have not been in here in a couple of days. It's probably turned upside down. Yeah, and it is. But I keep uh, a few cordless tools over here. Mostly I keep hand tools, some rags, squares, that kind of thing. But anyway, I built this to service the kind of tools that I carry and that I use. If you're going to build you one, I suggest you do the same thing. That you say, okay, what kind of tools do I carry? And these are built for the sizes of the stuff that I put in here. Now, let me show you how I built this. Might be interesting to you, might not. Hey, if it's not, you know. Uh, I got plenty of other videos. Maybe you like sawmill. Check one of them out. So, let's see how this thing's constructed. I apologize. No, not really. For the mess that I have. But, I work out of this truck, right? Okay? So, what I had to do, as you can see, there's a four foot, four by eight sheet of plywood down here in the bottom. I can stack up four by eight sheets all the way up to here. Now that's a lot of plywood and I don't expect me to be carrying that much plywood. If it's more than that, I'll just have to get it delivered. But what I did, right or wrong, you know your ledge on your bed, all right? The bottom is laying over on that ledge and there's a little lip there and it comes over. Hold on a second, let me get you a measurement. It is 10 and a half inches from the inside from right here to here. And I expect it sticks over probably mm, four inches. So I think the base of this thing is probably 14 inches wide. All right, so that's the first thing I did. No, no. I think the first thing I did, I built these little legs. Now, if you'll notice, that leg sticks out no wider than the wheel well. Actually, it's only seven inches wide. And uh, I, I didn't fasten anything to the truck mechanically in case I, this was an original thought. I said, well, I might not like it. So I just put me a little, uh, U-bolt on here, piece of rope, and 
that was to start with. I never did take that off. I did come back eventually, and I did go ahead, and it is mechanically fastened to the bed. Now, I built these for my use. I got some six-foot lead in here we do for stained glass work. Got a few accessories out there, and I needed that. So I put one of these on this side of the wheel well, one on that side, and they're up the height of them. You can see they sit on, mine has a bed liner, sits on the bed liner, and it comes out flush with the rail on the bed. So whatever height yours is, that's what you would do. Whatever width yours is to that fender well, that's what you'd do. Whatever you need here, maybe you'd like a, you know, several just little shelves and that would be wonderful I could really use that because I have so many little things and I, I'm, I'm not through with this right here okay uh, I find myself I throw too many little things right here so I'm gonna rack this up and put in some uh, clear uh, holder things then on the back side there you see where I got my four foot level and my uh, square so those are, are pretty neat all right so I got these legs here one there one there I got the base flat on that and then I put a back on this base all the way up pretty much what you might say to the ceiling now in order to do that and to hold that back Okay, I put these dividers in here, here, this on this end. They're shaped so they would fit in the curve around in here. On a slant up at the top, they look to be about four and a half inches. See if you can see that. Can you see in there? I can't. And then I got little half by half stop moldings and those are screwed from the other side fastened this is shaped here so that the glass would close against it and again I made mine get a tape measure here so you can to hold certain tools this first bay here is 13 inches Second bay is 17 and a quarter, no shelves. Got a little shelf up here for finishing that. This third bay, 17, in, 17 inches inside the inside. It's got a little shelf up there where I put my batteries. Okay? And when you get old, you have to mark everything so you remember where you put it. You young, young fellas, you won't have to do that. And then this last bay, it's uh, about 26 inches inside the inside. Okay, put me a shelf up there, grinder, oscillating tool, grinder disc, they go up there. And then little things, like this is my little frame and pocket square. Another one here. So that's how I did that. So to finish this thing out now, I had this old closet rod laying around. From time to time, my wife goes with me and I hang stuff up. That worked out perfect. You'll notice up in the front, I got a two before brace, making doggone sure that that thing would never tip over. I didn't have that on there for several weeks and I thought, mm, yeah, I'm gonna do that because it takes up no room, it's not in the way, it doesn't hurt anything. And so I just stuck that two before brace on there, screwed that on there. So that, that's that. Same thing over here. As you can see, the, the wheel well is actually about a quarter of an inch out past these right here. These legs, same size as the other legs. You could obviously put them anywhere you wanted to. Total now. Money-wise, 
You know how much a toolbox is, right? Well, I think, if I'm not mistaken, this was three, could be wrong, probably am. I think it was three, just a little, I may have bought four pieces of half inch plywood. I think three pieces did it. Half inch plywood, I, I think was probably at that time, maybe about $40 a sheet. Uh, let's say it was four sheets. All right, that's $160 worth of plywood. I had the fasteners. I had the, the half by half. Now, was this thing, is it built like kitchen cabinets? Absolutely not. I, this is totally utilitarian. Nothing about this is to impress anybody. Nothing about this is, I mean, the joinery and stuff. Absolutely, 100% did not matter. What mattered to me is, does it work? And I'm gonna tell you, after over a year of using these toolboxes, using the four foot wide space here in the bed, this thing has traveled many miles and has serviced me, absolutely. I've had toolboxes on the back of pickup trucks, the first truck. I drove was my daddy's 1967 Chevrolet Stepside. I was <coughs> 18 years old, I think, when I started driving that truck. And I built a wood toolbox for it. Still got that toolbox, by the way. Um, and then had several, several trucks since then. Every truck I've ever had, obviously, I had to cross the bed uh, toolbox. But I can honestly say without question, this has been the best toolbox access for tools. You know how it is when you got all your tools in that toolbox and the one you need is down at the bottom, down underneath everything. Well, I don't have that issue anymore. Only issue I have is if I don't put things back where they go, then I have to go hunt and look. But I try to discipline myself to put it back where it goes. That way, when I need it next time, I'll have it. And you know that. I mean, you know, it, it, the, the, the joy of carpentering comes when you got a place for everything and everything in its place. I don't always do that, but that's the, I say the joy, that's the goal anyway, right? But this has worked well for me. I hope maybe something you saw in this it might be something that can service you. Um, you know, if, if you've got this situation, if you've got this set up, I can guarantee now, these side panels from Leonardo or Lear, Lear, they were, uh, I don't remember what they cost. I really, really don't. But that was the most expensive part of this operation. But you know, you go buy one of them big, if you get a nice uh, cross, cross the bed toolbox at Tractor Supply or somewhere, you, I mean, you can spend, drop $400 in one of them. And I'm pretty sure that these side lights were less than that. Now, like I say, I did put uh, some tent on the inside of this and I, yeah, I guess somebody would be looking for this white truck with this camper shell and they'll be know what tools in there. Well, let me add one more thing about a toolbox and a camper shell and a carpenter's tools. There is nothing, there is nothing in this thing. There, if you had every tool in here, there's not a tool in here worth a person's life, okay? That's, I'm not threatening anybody, don't take that wrong. But I'm just saying you ought not steal because if you do that, somebody might, uh, one day you might come up against the wrong person and um, it might be the end of your thieving days, right? So anyway, I felt very good, very secure with, with my toolbox here. Hey, listen, there might have been something here that you can use, something to be helpful at least, maybe it might be a little bit, little bit might be just a hair entertainer. Probably not. But anyway, uh, that's that's my toolbox setup.
with a camper shell on a pickup truck. You may have watched this as a stranger. I hope you'll watch some more Sawdust and Sweat MC. And the next one you watch, I sincerely hope you'll consider yourself my friend. See you in the next one.